President Obama penned a farewell letter to the American people today, and with it, is sending a message that some critics say is not completely accurate. Correspondent Kevin Cork reports from the White House tonight on how President Obama's memory of the last eight years looks a lot different from the other side of the aisle. While President Obama's letter to the American people aimed to spotlight his legacy and achievement, it may have missed the mark in several key areas. No foreign terrorist organization has successfully planned and executed an attack on our homeland these past eight years. The president's comments from Wednesday were reflected in his letter today, but didn't talk about the ISIS-inspired attacks that struck Fort Hood, Orlando, and San Bernardino. On Obamacare, he wrote, if you lose your job, change your job, or start that new business, you'll finally be able to purchase quality, affordable care and the security and peace of mind that comes with it. But nowhere did he mention this. If you like your doctor, you keep your doctor. On jobs, he wrote the longest streak of job creation on record. Wages have grown faster over the past few years than at any time in the past 40. He left out the part about the workforce participation rate being at historic lows. On Iraq, the president said, we've drawn down from nearly 180,000 troops in harm's way in Iraq and Afghanistan to just 15,000. The president didn't, however, mention the fact that just last summer, twice, he authorized hundreds more American forces to deploy to Iraq, nor his failed goal to end the wars there and in Afghanistan. The president's letter was just one brick and a virtual wall of reflections designed to build upon the administration's story in full view of the American people, and it included more than two dozen cabinet exit memos, including the State Department, where Secretary John Kerry hailed the administration's progress in the fight against ISIS, writing, in Iraq, ISIL controls less than 61% of the territory it once held. In Syria, ISIL has lost over 28% of the territory it once held. But, as in the president's letter, it left out important details, like the fact that ISIS has now spread far beyond the Levant. Some experts question the wisdom of creating the memos, because political virtual reality has little to do with political history. I think uh, it's a mistake to play with your legacy. At this point, he's got it, whatever it is, and it's better now to leave with his dignity intact. Meanwhile, Brett, UN Ambassador Samantha Power also had an exit memo in it. She said that American interests, and in particular U.S. security, would be greatly damaged were the United States to back away from its leadership role at the United Nations. And while there is no clear indication that will happen under the Trump administration, the president-elect certainly has been critical of the world body before.